of Matthew 6 from Eugene Peterson's translation of the Bible called The Message. That same passage is our text for today. And since the translation that they read is such a beautiful version of the text, I'd like us to hear it again today. If you decide for God, living a life of God worship, it follows that you don't fuss about what's on the table at mealtimes, or whether the clothes in your closet are in fashion. There is far more to your life than the food you put in your stomach, more to your outer appearance than the clothes you hang on your body. Look at the birds, free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description careless in the care of God, and you count far more to God than birds. Has anyone, by fussing in front of the mirror, ever gotten taller by so much as an inch? All this time and money wasted on fashion, do you think it makes that much difference? Instead of looking at the fashions, walk out into the fields and look at the wildflowers. They never primp or shop, but have you ever seen color and design quite like it? The 10 best dressed men and women in the country look shabby alongside them. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think that God will attend to you, take pride in you, do God's best for you? What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax. Do not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way God works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how God works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met.